You're welcome to the Forex Trading and Lifestyle Entrepreneurship Channel. Do you take a minute to pause this video and read this disclaimer. Hi, it's Victor here from foreshowmarkets.com. In today, we're going to be looking at position sizing or position or lot sizing as a measure, as a risk control measure, okay? Position or lot sizing. Um, in the last videos, we saw how we talked about your stop loss. Um, on that stop loss, we talked about your win loss ratio. And then we talked about risk reward ratio. And then we talked about your risk per trade. All right, so in this video, what we're going to be doing is basically putting together the win loss ratio um, the risk reward ratio and the risk per trade to determine what lot size are you going to trade you know how do you know what lot size you trade at any point in time okay so trading is not in such a way that you just decide arbitrarily okay maybe i will trade 10 lots on this trade or i'll trade one standard lot on this trade or i will trade one zero point one or i'll trade zero point zero one okay so there, there are rules to these things okay so this uh, the idea of using any lot you feel like is one of the reasons why most newbie um, or inexperienced traders lose money okay so let's look at position sizing um, position sizing position sizing okay is simply about what lot size do you trade okay so before you place a trade you must know what lot size you are to trade based on the fact that the concept of risk management risk management is the practice of identifying okay analyzing quantifying and taking steps to minimize losses in advance and what are the measures we use to carry this out you stop loss and take profit your risk reward ratio your risk per trade and your position sizing okay so everything all boils down to the position sizing okay and that is what you basically um, takes you through the process to get there you pass through the process of identifying analyzing quantifying and um, taking steps to minimize loss your losses okay so let's see how you want to identify your risk first of all okay so let's say for example you have done your technical analysis or you have done your fundamental analysis example example here let me see where can i get my lines okay we have this here example here i can see resistance here i'm trying to get this line to work horizontal line okay I see a resistance here there was resistance here first price came down went back up tested that resistance that was already a double top okay now one could have decided to treat this um, as a double top using candlesticks confirmation pattern okay this is another um, top forming here so let's say I strongly believe that um, the the higher time frame, the the big picture is a downtrend, okay? And I see a double top here, and I feel okay, this is a good trade to take. Um, so while you think about profit, you always also have to learn how to think about the risk before you take that trade, because if you think about profit alone you could be you, you might be tempted to go big a big lot size maybe one standard lot on a one thousand dollar account okay but if you always remind yourself that there's a possibility that this trick may go wrong and that there's a little risk that i may take okay that means you now have to look at your um your stop loss where do i place my stop loss in such a way that um if the if the price goes to hit that stop loss that setup um that means i'm accepting that if the price gets to that price 
we are accepting that the analysis was wrong okay so let's say we have a downtrend like this a downtrend that has been running and then all of a sudden we have a pullback and based on the previous trend we know that or we expect this to come back down okay now we have this so a double top is forming now you have your resistance here you have your resistance here you have your line here okay your stop loss should be at a price where if the price goes up it's invalid it just invalidates this double top pattern and lets you just lets you know that okay you were wrong in your analysis it's as simple as that so for for me in this trade i would say anywhere above here you could use as your stop loss maybe it could be 20 pips it could be 40 pips depending on the um currency pair we are trading so let's just say for this case study okay one we have identified our we are trying to identify our risk okay so let's say for this case study we are going to use a stop loss of 30 pips on euro dollar 30 pips stop loss on euro dollar and we are going to use a let's say so let's do okay let's say a let's do a two to one win loss ratio two to one risk reward ratio um okay let's leave that this is identifying first of all using a stop loss let me confirm this always use a stop loss okay then let's look at if you have traded for three to six months you should know your average win loss ratio your average win loss ratio average win loss ratio okay so let's say in january let's say over six months maybe january you took um 20 trades in february you took 30 trades in march you took 40 trades so i'll just use this just to do as an example in january you won 15 let's say you won win lose you won 15 lost 5 in february you won 20 lost 10 in march you won let's say 20 you lost 20 okay so i'm just i'm just going to use three months so that i can be fast but ideally you can do six months you can do one year okay uh so now you add so total trade here is 40 70 20 90 trades in total out of 90 trades you won 40 65 and you lost 20 35 okay your average let me get my calculator your average win loss ratio your win loss ratio for for january is 15 divided by 5 which is 3 to 1 okay your win loss ratio for february is 20 to 10 which is 2 to 1 your win loss ratio for march is 20 over 20 which is 1 to 1 okay now to get your average win loss ratio is simply 65 over 35 okay so 65 divided by 35 it gives you 1.85 to 1 so your average risk reward ratio is 1.85 to 1 the longer the duration the more accurate or the more yeah the more reliable 
um, average you will get. So if you do this for say 12 months, so it means as you are trading every month, you need to be keeping data because that is what you use to know if you have an edge that is profitable or not. So let's say at the end of 12 months, your your um, average your average um, win loss ratio, okay, is two to one. We can comfortably say that if you place a thousand trades. So simple math we did in school, two, two divided by three times 1,000 will give you two divided by three times 1,000 will give you 666 trades. Okay. And then minus 666 minus 1,000 and then you will lose three three four trades it's as simple as that once you get an average statistics on your strategy you would find that year in year one if it's two to one you'll find that in year two you are going to do two to one in year three you're going to be seeing an average of two to one every year okay so we've sorted out we've sorted out win loss ratio okay win loss ratio that is out of the number of trades you take how many do you win how many do you lose okay now that is number one let's go to number two number two is risk reward ratio risk reward ratio so we have everything i did we did previously we are putting it together now risk reward ratio uh, risk reward ratio is simply the ratio of your risk is stop loss to tick profit okay so if we're using is i said we're going to use 30 pip stop loss there if we're using 30 pip stop loss pip stop loss and using 60 pips take profit the higher okay let's do it this way 60 pips take profit that is a risk reward ratio of one is to two okay the higher your, your risk reward ratio the easier it is for you to make profit your risk reward ratio is kind of leverage you put in a little effort okay and you get our bigger results so example if you are using 30 pips stop loss to 120 pips um take profit your risk reward is one to four this is massive leverage if you can make this work this is this is the best option some people do as high as one to ten okay and this is what makes it possible in such a way that you are not going to be scared of taking losses because you know that even if you take two losses three losses four losses in a row that by the time you make one win that one win will cover for all the losses you have made okay so that is how it works so risk reward is very very powerful risk reward is leverage if you can get it as high as possible okay the chances of you getting a higher risk reward higher a high risk reward ratio is high compared to you getting a high win loss ratio because honestly no matter how good you are as a trader okay the best of the best of traders you can't get 10 out of 10 win loss ratio of 10 trades out of 10 so out of 10 trades if you win 10 and lose zero what what win loss ratio would that be 10 that would be zero okay so zero should be the highest that means 100 percent 100 percent win rate okay so let's say out of 10 out of 10 you win nine and lose one that is a, a win loss ratio of nine to one this is this is not practically is not realistic okay except you are a scalper okay and scalpers you see them having scalpers have very very poor so it's it always balanced scalpers have very very poor 
um, risk reward ratio. Okay, so a scalper can take use a stop loss of 10 pips and use and take a, a loss of 100 pips. Okay, so this is this is risk. This is risk reward of one to ten. Risk reward of one to ten. Okay. So what was I saying before? The the lower the higher this risk reward goes. Let's get that clear. The higher this goes. The better your profit so what exactly so I, I think i did it the other way around. what scalpers do is scalpers will take a stop will take stop loss of 100 pips because they feel the market is going to come back and you see them taking take profit of 10 pips okay so they have a negative risk reward ratio of 10 to 1. so every time out of 10 trades they probably win no, not this that is for win loss ratio. Every um out of ten trades, so let's go back to let's go back to every win loss ratio now. So for win loss ratio, scalpers usually have very very high win loss ratio. So out of ten trades, out of ten trades, a scalper can have nine wins and one loss but their their risk is usually very high so you can't eat your cake and have it it is either your win loss ratio is is high right and your um risk reward is very very low as a scalper it's either this for scalpers or for um people who are doing normal risk management and using a higher um using the which of these ones now using making your take profit your profit much bigger than your loss okay so for such people let's say like day traders or swing traders let's leave that so it's their win loss ratio will be lower but risk reward is high is high okay so the scalper can take 10 9 wins and one loss but he will win 10 pips and lose 100 pips okay while the day trader can win let's say four or four or five and lose six here of five here okay and then for risk you can risk 20 pips but the power in this is that they make their take profit higher okay so you can do two to one reward of 40 pips take profit or in this case can be 20 pips stop loss times four 80 pips take profit this is where the leverage is. This is where the power is. This is where the power is. Okay. Once you can make your take your profit bigger than your losses, okay, the amount of work you need to do is so much less. But for the scalper guy, okay, the amount of work you need to do is so huge because you have to win almost eight to nine th nine trades. Um, out of 10 and honestly it is very very difficult to do the only way you can attempt to make that work is when your trade goes negative you you have they have to leave it and wait for it to come back 
and that is part of what leads to disaster okay i hope i hope i'm communicating this is going to be a long video so I'll just do it once and for all and finish with it so we've treated risk reward ratio so you can't eat your cake and have it i usually usually prefer that you try and make your take profit higher than your stop loss so that when you take losses okay one win can easily cover for four losses and you are good to go trading is simply trading is a numbers game okay trading is a numbers game that is why i'm teaching you how to do this calculation so that you can see your edge at the end of three months six months one month you can comfortably tell, comfortably tell yourself that i have a profit profitable trading strategy or i'm ready to go live or i don't have a profitable trading strategy i need to go back to the drawing board all of that information you will get from knowing your numbers okay now we have risk percentage per trade three risk per trade okay now i said yesterday that we were all taught that two percent of of our capital should be our maximum risk per trade okay you can take 10 trades you can take 20 trades in a day <clears throat> okay but let each of those trade risk or stop loss not be more than two percent okay that's the whole idea and why is that important let me remind you of the difference between an amateur trader one two three four five six difference between an amateur trader amateur or inexperienced and a professional trader who is disciplined So these are 10 trades so this is a pro trader so these are 10 trades okay a professional trader will always limit his losses maximum two percent so let's use this example let's use this example here um five five to five you win five lose five make 20 pips make 80 pips profit lose 20 pips profit so you can see how everything is connecting okay so one two three four five he loses five trades and he wins five trades one two three four five every time he loses he makes sure his loss is maximum two percent 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 and every time he wins, he makes sure that he's not impatient or greedy to see when he sees five pips. Ah, let me quickly take this one and close it. I will try again. You understand? That is one of the itchy fingers, impatience and itchy fingers. You know, the idea is to cut your losses. Cut your losses. Okay? And then let your profits run. Let your profits run this is how professional traders trade but how do amateur traders trade they cut their profits early okay they cut their profits early and then they let their let their losses run okay so your job as most beginner traders start with that mindset your job as a beginner trader is to make the paradigm shift make the mind shift okay and that is the reason why i'm showing you this calculation so you will see the secret to making money from the market so for this winning trade he makes eight percent makes eight percent eight percent eight percent eight percent okay eight times five net profit net profit is forty percent 8 times 5 is 40 percent net loss sorry not uh, not net not net that's not net 
that's gross okay that is gross so this gross profit gross loss is equals to 2 times 5 which is 10 percent so you can now have a net profit of 30 percent okay and with such trader you won't see your equity curve going you know it might come down a bit go up come down a bit go up come down a bit you know like that now let's look at how the amateur trader handles his trading because he will cut his profits early maybe he will take you take one percent it makes profit one two three four five then it makes losses one two three four five so let's look at the wins he will cut his losses early one percent one percent one percent sometimes they take ridiculous five pips you're risking 100 pips and you take only five pips so 0.5 percent how do you want to make money okay one percent one percent okay then when they want to lose hmm 10 percent 20 percent 50 percent hmm 50 percent and that is how they blow their account sorry one percent for win one percent one percent for win 0 0.5 one percent so this is for lose by this time by the last trade he has already blown his account F. okay so let's look at that calculation for for net gain you have one two three four four point five one this is one two three three point five four point five net gain gross sorry gross profit is equals to four point five percent and let's calculate the losses ten percent loss twenty percent loss that's thirty fifty percent loss that's eighty 50% loss, that is 130. Okay? Gross loss. So even before the last, even before 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, no, sorry. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, 7, Eight. on the eighth trade by the eighth trade he would have blown the account minus hundred percent okay gross loss hundred percent okay at the end of the day at the end of the day you see he has a, a net of about 97 percent account is blown okay account is blown so as long as you don't practice this risk management concepts okay <clears throat> um as long as you don't practice this risk, risk management concept there's no way you can go far as a trader okay so your lot size lot size now the last one is what lot size okay now if you are taking a 20 pip stop loss we use 30 pips before 30 pip stop um, stop loss take profit times four 120 pips okay that's four to one you are risking two percent of your capital let's say your capital is one thousand dollars one thousand dollars so one thousand two percent of one thousand is 20 usd okay 
now we want to sell euro dollar okay look at our chart here so let's say our entry is the current price 1.1424 sell 1.1424 stop loss 20 stop loss 30 pips is 1.1454 take profit is 120 pips 1.1304 okay when we place the trade we set the stop loss to set the take profit and be patient enough and disciplined enough to wait for it to hit the stop loss or hit the take profit okay if it hits the stop loss it takes you out of the market you go for the next trade if it hits your take profit all good you have you have made money so what lot size can i trade i cannot just go and trade 1.0 Okay, if I trade 1.0 lot, multiply that by 30 pips. Of course, remember for 1, 1.0 lot, 1 pip is equals to 10 USD. So if I trade 1.0 lot and I lose 30 pips, that is equivalent to 300 USD. I have lost 30% of my account already. Okay, so what is the proper lot size that we need to calc to use um, the proper lot size that you need to use to calculate to place that trade so that your risk would be maximum two percent okay so let's do that you may have to do this a few times but after this video you'll get a software that you can install on your system and then it will do the calculation for you i'll show you how to do that okay so two percent of um one thousand is twenty is twenty dollars so i want to risk just twenty dollars so risk our risk or loss should be maximum of 20 usd okay now you know that one um let's see your stop loss is equal to 30 pips okay this is just a raw raw this is just for theoretical purposes you're not going to be doing this calculation so let me just show you how we get how you get your lot size okay but for convenience right just for convenience let me make this three percent okay just for convenience so that the calculation will not be giving me fractions 3% $30. So let's say we are risking $30. So 30 USD stop loss is equal to 30 pips. Okay. Now you have to divide your risk. Risk divide by stop loss will give you 30 over 30, which is equal to 1, um, which is equal to 1, 1. Let's see yeah so it equals to one dollar per pip is what you want to trade you want to tr place a trade you want to place a lot size that will give you one dollar per pip okay one dollar per pip and what is it that gives you um one dollar per pip that is 0 0.1 lot okay if it was two dollars per pip it will be 0 0.2 lot so the ideal trade is you're selling euro dollar um 0 0.2 0 0.1 sorry 0 0.1 lot okay at this at the entry price of 1.1424 your stop loss is 1.14 1.14 1.1454 and your take profit is 1.1304 okay so this is just a raw theoretical calculation of how you determine your lot size if you trade more than this 0 0.1 lot you are going to end up losing more than the recommended percentage three percent or two percent that you're supposed to lose okay and that is how you 
what this is how you identify your risk analyze it quantify it and you take steps to minimize losses in advance okay so in the next video i'm going to sh share with you a software um that you install on your meta trader 4 on pc and it will it will help you just put in you will put in the numbers what the number you're going to okay i'll, I'll share that in the next video basically um if you've, you've learned something new in this video, I believe you have, just give us a thumbs up, click the thumbs up button. If this is your first time watching the video, make sure you click the subscribe button and um, click the bell beside the subscribe button so you, you can get notified whenever we upload a new video. Make sure you don't miss the next video. That too um, is going to be a very, very big um, addition to your toolbox. All right. So cheers. I'll see you in the next video.